So we were right here at the Lunara Connect and you were just getting a whole bunch of... Uh, what's going on here? These are the motherboards for the new uh, developer box that has been produced with Socionext and uh, Lunaro and Gigabyte. So who are you? I'm Daniel Thompson. I work at Lunaro. Uh, I do support and solutions engineering. Support means I'm going to be helping people use this and solutions means taking on small projects to make it more awesome. So right here we're getting the unboxed... Uh, so can you... Carry it up. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is the Socionext board. Yes. So it's a PC like, it's basically um, 1998 was the last time somebody made a PC like device with an ARM processor in it. So this is a big difference. So the last one I, I know of was the RISC PC, uh, which they stopped production in 2003. And then um, right here is uh, out of the. Um, can you show it around? Can you explain what's on it? Oh. Uh, this is a micro ATX board. Yeah. And uh, under this heat sink, uh, here is a social next LSI. And uh, for the DIM, uh, for the Nano 96 board we use, uh, we put uh, only one uh, UDIM. You uh, can put ma four? Yeah, maximum four slots can be used. So how much RAM total, Max? Max at 64 gigabytes. 64 gigabytes. We've been running them here at Connect with 32. 32, is it okay? Yeah. Is it enough for doing some stuff? It, yeah, it was enough, yeah. We could put everything in a RAM disk and let it really run. And uh, this is PCI? Uh, PCI is uh, 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 RAM, 4 RAM, 60 RAM. So yeah. what's the difference between the small and the big ones? What could you do in the different So ones? that was 1 and 1 and 4, I think, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Those are one lane, those are four lane. It's a 16 lane slot. But so, <laughs> only four lanes easy. So you can plug yeah. a graphics card in and it will stop, drop down to the right amount of bandwidth. Um, but technically inside, it's a, it's a four lane PCI slot. Let's, let's check out one of the boxes you've been working on over there. So, um, right here, uh, there's an awesome desktop machine right here, right? Yes, we've got two of these boxes. These are not the boxes it will ship in. These are just the boxes we're doing engineering in. But it will ship in a PC-like box. Um, this is a 24-core ARM Core Dex A53 desktop PC. Yes. Which will be great for developers. It will. I mean, it's there to develop ARM on ARM. So in, instead of everybody cross-compiling, in fact, people still call it cross-compiling. They're so habituated to, to saying, I'm going to cross-compile my kernel, that I've seen people compile on this board this week and still claim to be cross-compiling, even though they're not. They're not so cross-compiling anymore. Not cross-compiling anymore. It's it like would a be normal, a thing of the past. It won't be a thing of the past. It will continue on. Yeah, I'm not going to claim that it will. It will. It will revolutionize the world, but it's going to be slow. And, and your, your colleague right here has been doing some stuff? What yes. have you been doing? Uh, so that's a lot of firmware work. Um, so yeah, we've, we've... The nice thing about this board is that it, it does feel like a PC. It's running the same EFI frameworks that you would get on a regular PC, if you want to see inside. So, um, you know, when it boots, it shows you the special. It shows you what I think of secretly as the BIOS menu. It's not been a BIOS menu for 10 years, but I, I still call it that. Uh, you can see the BIOS menu. You can use your grub bootloader to select what you're booting. So it, it makes it very, very natural and very normal. Um, very boring, if you get right down to it, but boring has been necessary. We, we will get exciting afterwards, but right now we want to be as boring as we can. You want to get it out, you want it to just work. And you got the first one just very, very recently. Uh, as I understand it, um, it was Thursday. So it's Thursday today. I think the pick a and place ago. machine was assembling it. I think it was a week, I don't know, it's a week or two weeks. But um, oh, one week. One week. So, yeah. And, uh, and, we've got the and you've been able to bring it up, basically, yeah. right? So uh, you were at the, like, there was a keynote, was it yesterday, the day before? Yes. And you're already uh, showing everything, like, um, some stuff just working. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Even loving YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah, the, the YouTube video is great. I mean, it's Gordon Ramsay. Um, so... Is it hardware accelerated YouTube video playback? And it, it wasn't hardware accelerated in the demo, no. So that, um, it was? No, no, it wasn't. It was not? No. But it I mean, still plays the video. There's no video stuff. accelerators on here. Um, obviously, when you plug in a graphics card, uh, any acceleration that we have Linux drivers for on the graphics card will be exploited. Um, but that's usually quite... It's not really necessary much on modern things. You know, What's YouTube. the board right here? Uh, What's the difference between this and that? This is a... Uh, is this just the board separately? That is one of the... So, Socinex concept was to create massive, massive scalar systems. So they had... I think they were targeting 1,024 cores in one washing machine. 
Um, and that's the board that sits inside the washing machine, scaling everything out. So they have a big fabric and they plug lots of those boards in. Um, so what the developer box is, is one of those compute nodes that you can have at home, um, both to do you know, fairly, you can do some interesting parallel algorithms with 24 cores. You, know, you start to hit the bottlenecks at 24 cores that you s used to see in supercomputers five, 10 years ago. How's it compare so, in performance with the uh, Cortex A72, if you have like quad core A72 compared to 24 core A53? You we're get more, still you get a lot of finding that out. Um, my gut instinct was, it's equivalent to about eight A73s, but that's pure gut, it's not been measured. Um, so that, that was my gut feeling. So, so there are plenty of interesting boards in the Arm ecosystem now with four A73s, the Macchiato bin uh, is one, it's an awesome board. Um, and it will be interesting to see how they compare. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, but then it's a whole bunch of smaller cores, maybe it could be uh, very useful in terms of power consumption, running a whole bunch of stuff in the, in the cloud, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it depends the, the, what, what kind of workloads the it's going to The game's at 5 watts, uh, which is astonishing. I mean, it, it, at that point, you start having to tune the system. The, the core uses so little that you need to find low energy power supplies, you need to find low energy RAM, because otherwise you're spending 5 watts on your CPU and 20 watts on your power supply and efficiencies. So, uh, so this one is all the, uh, um, loaded up with, uh, it's connected with stuff up here, or yeah, this, this, is a, this is a GPU right here. Yes, that one's been plugged in, that's, what, that's actually, I think, the card that we ran the demo on uh, earlier in the week. Um, that's so NVIDIA. That's NVIDIA um, One X. It's designed for um, Bitcoin miners because it's single lane. Okay, Bitcoin um, GPU. So that, that's... What about the Radeon? Could that potentially work? Um, it could potentially work. Um, we haven't... Well, we have plugged one in um, and we were struggling to get it to run, but that's because it was one we just picked up at Fry's. We've no idea if it's even going to run on a PC at the moment. Um, but, yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, what kind of stuff have you been doing otherwise? You've been this, uh, working together on this kind of stuff? Um, well, I do, the, I do the splash screen, which was very important. Um, <laughs> I, I, I help kind of get things together. You know, I, I'm not one of the key firmware developers, um, but I'm so excited by this that I volunteered to come in and help with the sprint. So the sprint started on Saturday. Uh, I was personally so excited by the product, I wanted to come in and join on the sprint, which means I'm a bit of a fraud, because many of the other people here have been working on this for six months. It's the genesis of, you know, the enterprise guys have been working on enterprise arm at Lenaro for four years, maybe? Um, so this is the genesis of a lot of, lot of work in other parts of the company, and I'm just joining in the ride at the end. But I, I'd like to say, it's so exciting to have this on the desk um, that I'm, I'm charging into it. So, so I'm, I'm going to take it home and work on the recovery. It's significant, it's exciting, yeah. it's special. It's, it's a new form factor. ARM has been in phones, it's been in Chromebooks, but this is a new form factor. It, it, we can look at it over here. It's, uh, this oh, is same, more like the, 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 this is the final, a design, right? I believe it's so, yes. it's going to be more like this size. Yes, so this is slightly smaller. It's hard to see on the screen, I suspect. Yeah. But it's can, you, slightly smaller. can you show the ports and stuff? So there's USB in the front. So yeah, we've got um, these might get blocked off, I don't know, in the final product. So this yeah. is USB 3. It's got two USB 3 at the front and um, up here, two at the back. Um, obviously, because we've got PCI, this one's got extra USB slots in. So we can get all sorts in there. Um, and uh, how fast is the Ethernet? Uh, one gigabit. One gigabit? Yeah. Dual? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Single, I think you'd single. say. We will mark it as single. So um, this one is a one is a networking port. The other is part of the interconnect fabric. Um, so the main CPUs can't use it. Um, so there may eventually be interesting use cases for it. But um, the, you know, the, the initial stuff that comes out in December, we would be marketing it as single. Nice. Uh, what else is going to happen with this? What do you think is going to happen? Is everybody at Lenara going to get it's, one? It's an open source and then who thing. Else? So, so I think it's a bit old school. What's going to happen is we're going to see this on lots of developers' desks, and developers are going to write software on it. <coughs> and that means I don't know what's going to happen. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go home and start working on the recovery OS so that um, there's, a, there's an EMMC on there, which is not normally there on a PC. So we can do interesting things like that by creating a recovery operating system that's not in the main hard disk. So if you think about the PC, modern laptops come with a recovery partition that you can accidentally damage if you destroy your GPT table. Um, we won't have to do that. There's an EMC on there. We can put the recovery into the EMMC. So that's what I'm going to play with when I get home. Um, but the exciting thing is I don't know what anybody else is going to do when they get home. So can you sit down just one second? Yeah. So uh, um, this is uh, very exciting what SocialX is doing, right? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they've made an interesting product. and. Um, it's, it's a really interesting concept, running, running little cores, the one gigahertz cores, and trying to get massively parallel, 
um, is an interesting approach. I don't know if anybody else is doing it. And they have this DDT, they call it, to, to connect them all together somehow and get huge, some combined yes. kind of performance. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. the point is that these are the cheap boards that I get to play on. Um, I'm afraid I shan't get to play on the, the big, massively parallel ones, and I, I have no idea how they perform. Does, but does it's a very help, interesting architecture. Does that help a lot to, to develop for the Social Next, or develop, it helps develop for any ARM? So yes, this, this board is for the benefit of the ecosystem as a whole, because um, you know having PCIe on there means that we'll be maturing PCIe on ARM, we'll be maturing various of the EFI firmware, so everybody will start seeing ACPI on a machine they can buy really cheaply. So Lenara's been working on ACPI for a long time um, for enterprise systems, but they were all systems that cost you know tens of thousands of dollars. Um, we're now going to start having a board where we get to, to experiment with this software it's on a slightly less than a thousand dollars for our system. Uh, that's what I'm told. That's yeah. what I'm told. I'm an engineer, and I will get one on expenses, and I'll be very happy. <laughs> cool. And how soon is mass production? How soon uh, everybody can buy? Mass production can be available in December. 